This is a short video showing how I uh, am using my uh, CNC mill to cut the spokes in a flywheel. This is a piece of aluminum, quarter inch thick, four and a half by four and a half roughly, <clears throat> and um, will be the center of a flywheel. The outer rim will be made of uh, steel or brass or something, and then this will be cut out and, in, and pressed into uh, the ring to give it some weight. But basically what I'm doing is showing here how I can use how I can use a fairly simple <coughs> G-code program to cut these pie-shaped wedges one at a time and then manually rotate the uh, uh, the rotary table one-sixth of a turn and repeat the process. So right now you can see I've cut the third uh, pie shape. Now I'm going to rotate the uh, table and do uh, <coughs> the next one. So this takes 15 turns to do one sixth. Okay, so there is um, there's a uh, one sixth of a turn. I'm going to start the mill and I'll go over here and uh, start the uh, CNC cycle. Mach 3 and I'm going to just pull my cursor down here on the start and do a start cycle. And then we'll whip back over here and you can see it uh, actually cutting that pie sheet. inch solid carbide end mill here to cut this groove. I'm cutting about 30 thousandths of an inch deep in the pass. I'll go around and mark out all the spokes 30 thousandths deep and then I can just simply uh, repeat the whole process again going down another 30 thousandths and so forth until I go all the way through uh, cutting out each of the pieces. One more to go, so here's here's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <coughs> Oops, I, forgot, I almost forgot to turn the mill back on. Well, I realized I could uh, 
either program this in G-code or use a CAD CAM program to draw out the whole thing and cut the whole thing in one automatic uh, operation. This demonstrates that I'm able to do it with no CAM, no and very simple CAD, and uh, then just a simple G-code program to cut out each one of these wedges in turn, and so use a semi-manual, semi-CNC process to uh, come out with a pretty nice shape and not a whole lot of uh, uh, lead time trying to figure out how to use CAM and so forth. Now once this finishes here, what I'll be able to do is just simply repeat the whole process going around the wheel another another time uh, lowering the uh, the uh, bit another thirty thousandths and just keep repeating that process until I've cut all the way through so there you can see what it's going to look like uh, thanks for what by the way that uh, I think I already mentioned that piece of aluminum is four and a half by four and a quarter so uh, this will fit inside a, a piece of four and a half inch OD steel pipe. I'll cut a ring off of the end of a steel pipe uh, and uh, trim this down to, to press fit it inside there to make the flywheel. Thanks for watching.